Hello everyone, uh, this is Gary from Austin, Texas, and uh, in this video I just wanted to share some samples of marcasite that I've been collecting in the creek bed near my house, which is in the Austin Chalk Formation. Uh, it all started with just taking a walk by in the creek bed, and I would see these spots in the limestone were like, like this, where you, I could see this, these areas where there was r obvious rust and uh, within these rust spots were different uh, samples with different quality. This one actually hasn't weathered too badly, but ultimately the ones that are weathered have been weathering for a while basically turned to a gray dust. And that was interesting, and I'd seen those several times and didn't know what to think of that. But then my daughter discovered uh, one day, sticking out of one of the slabs of uh, limestone that had fallen from the wall from, from mass wasting, discovered a little uh, nodule sticking out and uh, looked something like this. And these are all samples uh, I later came to discover, or marcasite. So these little nod this little nodule was sticking out and uh, you can see the, the glimmer it has. It has... Uh, Basically, the crystal structures radiate from the center, like you can see on that weathered piece. And the, I'm not sure how close I can get here, but you can't see it on this one. You have some flat crystal faces that catch the light there. So it's a pretty, pretty cool looking little, little samples. So I'm just going to take you through, starting with the smallest up to the, up to my uh, favorite ones. Some of the different samples of this, uh, what I later came to find out, is marcasite, a form of uh, iron sulfide. And because uh, I didn't see too many videos on YouTube about marcasite with, with very many good samples, so I thought somebody out there might want to see that. So here we go. So uh, most of what I find is in the form of these nodules, spherical nodules, but I have found some kind of uh, randomly shaped pieces as well. This one's got a uh, pretty good coloration uh, the areas that aren't weathered that are actually inside the limestone and haven't gotten any uh, rain on them or air exposure to the air are actually as you can see kind of yellowish and this one has some nice pretty good crystal formation on it and uh, all the white stuff you see on there is the the, the residual limestone I couldn't get off I've, not an expert at this by any means. I've basically been soaking them in vinegar for a couple days. Didn't seem to have any effect on the marcasite. And that dissolves most of the limestone. But all of these nodules, uh, it's really beautiful, have this uh, sparkly, the ones that are non-weathered, have this nice sparkly uh, internal composition. And, um, here I've uh, actually split. I, I found this nice little spherical nodule. Not very good development on the external crystals, as you can see. But the inside was amazing. You can see that nice silver sparkly texture. And you can't really see the individual, uh, the radiating lines like you could in the weathered samples. But it's a really, really nice looking uh, silvery sparkly texture. My, my girls love it. <laughs> I love it too, for that matter. And um, I found several of these. They're basically clumps of individual nodules. You can see they're fused together, forming from a central point. And they have a, this one's got some nice goldish coloration on this side. And you can see as it turns, the uh, sides of the crystals sparkling. And here's a really nice one that I actually broke off when I was removing it from the from the limestone, but it's got a, a distinct coppery looking texture in the inside, which is different than the rest. I'm not sure if it's composed of something else, but not an expert at this by any means. But you can see there the side by side uh, 
silvery uh, metallic texture and then this more coppery looking texture and this video doesn't really give you all the the beauty of that and this is a nice one again just that sparkly texture on the outside and this stuff um, I'd like to add that you know what, what you're seeing here generally there's just one little tip like say this example there might be this much exposed on the outside of the of the limestone and I'm basically chiseling chiseling it out so it's pretty pretty work intensive but uh, it's pretty also pretty rewarding when one when you get get a nice nodule like this this is another uh, clump of uh, of uh, nodules this is actually the other half of the one I just showed you with the coppery texture and uh, they kind of fit together with something like this but it was within the limestone like that but again you can see the it's a clump of kind of individual nodules that kind of fuse together and this one has a really nice sparkly appearance and it's got some reddish this one in particular has more reddish brown reddish texture to it color to it that's a nice one <clears throat> And this is one of my favorites. Basically a perfect little ball, little sphere. But you really get that shining effect as you as you rotate it. So um, a lot of these, like this one, you know, uh, even though they weren't weathered per se, they are tarnished. And I had read that marcasite is actually a, a pale yellow, uh, very similar to pyrite, which can actually occur in the same formations. Um, and we'll see a little bit. I have a few samples that actually do have that pyrite look, but I believe they are marcasite, just the unweathered, completely unweathered ones. This is a nice nodule. Um, I guess it's about an inch and a half in diameter. But it's got some really nice, well-developed external crystals there. If I can pull it in focus. As you can see, some of the different crystal habits there. And then, like on the, on this one in particular, like this little tip right here was the one thing sticking out of the limestone. And you know, as you dig around. As you chisel around it, you know, you find it's actually a much bigger ball in there. And um, these uh, marcasite nodules tend to occur on basically the same strata, uh, but I've been lucky that there was sort of an uplift on one end of this large formation that I'm walking along. And uh, so a lot of it's way too high for me to reach 30, 40 feet up, but uh, as, the, as the slant of the uplift reaches the, towards the level of the creek, it's pretty it's pretty easy to get to a couple of these I've had to do some climbing to get to but for the most part it's about head level and uh, this is kind of a indistinct one but and you can always tell the weathered areas because they're, they're kind of they start they start to rust or lose their luster but um, nice nonetheless Here's a really nice one. This actually turned out to be one of the very first ones I found. And uh, it's really one of the prettiest ones. It's kind of like three spheres fused together into a one unit. But it's definitely very, very sparkly and pretty. The crystal development is not that great on the outside. It more, looks more like a bumpy texture. But uh, really pretty. People like this one a lot when I show it to them. Now this one, this is one of the ones I had to climb to get, but it's, it's pretty nice, two inch long, about an inch and a half in diameter, 
kind of a cylinder. Not much of the pale yellow crystals. This one was fairly well exposed, but I don't, I don't think it had been for long because it hasn't shown any oxidation, but just definitely the coloration is uh, dark. And uh, it broke off here from another smaller piece, but it wasn't enough worth attempting to get. But you can definitely see some nice, few nice crystals there on the outside. And if we can get, as you can see, and uh, oftentimes what, what I'm noticing is, uh, if you can see right there, kind of almost like a truncated pyramid uh, crystal shape. And I happen to love pyramids, so it kind of appeals to me. You can see it right there. Kind of a common shape. But they also tend to form kind of a... There's a few cubic, you know, almost reminiscent of pyrite crystals right in that area. And uh, there's also quite a few just triangular, flattened uh, triangular crystals. So definitely a neat looking mineral. Here, this is one I haven't quite finished cleaning yet. It's still got quite a bit of limestone residue on it, but I think it's going to be a good one once it once it's done. It's got some nice uh, crystal development there. You can see another one of the truncated pyramids right there. That's some, a few of the triangular ones there. In that area, it's gonna have some of the, it's got some of the nice uh, pale yellow crystals, but it still needs still got some work to do on that one. If anybody out there watching this has a more efficient way to get rid of this limestone, especially in something with this kind of texture where uh, there's so many grooves, I'd love to I'd love to hear about it. Post a comment. Now this is my favorite one, and again, this is one of the one of the first ones I found, but uh, it's uh, almost divided equally in half between the, the pale yellow crystals and the uh, the darker reddish brown looking crystals and this is a, this is a real beauty um, and, and then you get a real good view of the what the internal structure looks like that silvery almost looks like aluminum foil color and this one has some really nice uh, just crystal development on it outer surface there you get a get a good sampling of the uh, the different habits that it can take there's a little truncated pyramid right there and let's see if I can find one of those nice triangles and I apologize for the movement this is my first video I don't usually post videos like this but there's a nice little truncated pyramid just figured some people out there might be interested in seeing this this is such a nice thing to find it's not even like I was going looking for the stuff I just kind of discovered this area where it really is occurs a lot I intend to go back down and find some more that's pretty much it I couldn't find any of the triangular faces but you get the point so uh, that's a marcasite found in the Austin chalk formation uh, I've been pretty excited about it and uh, gonna go back down We've been getting a lot of rain, but I'm going to go back down and try to find some more soon. And if I do find some beauties, I'll post those too. So if you have any comments or like it or don't like it, let me know. Thanks.